Hi, I'm Natalie Rhodes, and this is Into Math's fifth grade module four, lesson four. I'm going to start off by going over the I can objective. It says I can describe how to use grouping symbols in a numerical expression and place parentheses so an expression has a given value. And the learning objective says determine in what order operations must be evaluated when there are grouping symbols. And then the prior learning here says students represented statements of multiplicative comparison as multiplication equations. All right, now moving on to page 87. It's in the step it out question number one. Justine is making jewelry for her friends. She makes four of the bracelets shown. To determine the number of beads she needs, she writes the numerical equation five plus three plus six times four. All right, so in letter A, it says use the order of operations to evaluate Justine's numerical expression. And remember from the past lesson, we have to multiply first. So we have to do this six times four first. Six times four is 24. Then we're gonna move from left to right. So right now we're going to have, and I'm gonna make a little note up at the top here, we're gonna, it's gonna look like this, five plus three plus 24. Now that they're all in the same step, I can go ahead and solve. So 5 plus 3 is 8. 8 plus 24 is 32. So my answer to this problem would be 32. Okay, now moving down to B. Which part of Justine's numerical expression models the number of beads she uses for one bracelet? That's all of the addition, right? Because we have, if you look up at the picture, we have five green circles, three yellow squares, and then six blue triangles. So that's all of the addition. So we have five plus three plus six. Moving down to C. How can you use your answer from part B to find how many beads she uses for four bracelets? Well, from B, we're, if we added all three of those together, we wanted to then multiply that number times four to find the total amount of beads, okay? So if we added them together, five plus three is eight, and eight plus 16 is 14. So if we took 14 and then multiplied it by four, we would figure out how many beads she needs. Okay, so we're not going to do that yet. We're going to move down to D. It says, how many beads does she need to make four bracelets? That's where we're going to answer it. So the 14 times four, if we did four times four, I'm going to go ahead and show my work over here. So four times four is 16, carry the one. Four times one is four, plus one is five. So she would need 56 beads to make her four bracelets. So the second part of this question says, how does your answer compare to the answer you found in part A? When we did it in part A, it was only 32 beads. But now that we went through the problem a little bit differently, we found out it's 56 beads. So how does it compare? The answer we found is more. It's higher than the original. So in E, how can you rewrite 5 plus 3 plus 6 times 4 with parentheses so that it models the number of beads she needs to make four bracelets. I'm gonna go ahead and just pause real quick and explain what's going on. We purposely found the wrong answer in A because there's no parentheses shown in the problem, in the word problem above, right? So if we followed order of operations, we needed to multiply the six times the four first, and then we added the five and the three. That was incorrect. We needed to find out how many beads total in one bracelet, take that total, and then multiply it times four. The way to add all those numbers first before we multiply is to add in parentheses because our parentheses is step one in our PEMDAS, in our order of operations. So we have to add in those parentheses in order to solve them first. Okay, so what we want to do here in our problem is figure out how do I get all those numbers together before I multiply. So I need from B, I need my 5 plus 3 plus 6 total first before I multiply. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add parentheses there so I can solve that first, then move to my step 2, which is multiply and divide. So how can I rewrite it? I'm going to do parentheses 
five plus three plus six, end parentheses, times four. All right, so we're gonna use this information and move on to the next problem. So I'm gonna move over to page 88, and I'm just gonna zoom up on problem number two. It says, Mr. Finn makes gift boxes with four green bracelets, one gold bracelet, and one necklace. Each bracelet costs $2 to make, and each necklace costs $5. He has $90 to spend on gift boxes. How can you model the number of gift boxes Mr. Finn can make using a numerical expression? Okay, before I start this, I'm going to go over and look at the image to the right. In red, it shows parentheses. That is like the innermost of step one. And then on the outside in blue, it has brackets. And then in green, it has braces. So this is kind of like multiple steps in step one. So if you see all three of these, you're going to solve what's on the inside first, and then you're going to move your way out in layers. So you're going to solve what's in the parentheses, then you're going to move to the brackets, then you're going to move to the braces. Okay. And then you would solve anything else if you're on the outside of those um, markings. So, and I'm going to work through this all with you since this is a new topic. So A says parentheses. So write an expression in parentheses to represent the total number of braces in one box. Okay. So what I need to do is I need to go back up to the top and I'm going to mark up this problem with some different colors and try to figure out what's going on in those parentheses. So because the parentheses is in red, I'm going to go ahead and use red to mark it up. So it says Mr. Finn makes gift boxes with four green bracelets and one gold bracelet. Okay. The colors don't really matter for this problem, but I know that there's four green and one, um, and one gold bracelet. And then there's one necklace and that'll come later. Okay. So write an expression in parentheses to represent the total amount of bracelets and one gift box. Well, if I have four green and one gold, that's going to be separate. So what it's looking for here is it's looking for the separate four and the one. Okay. That's part one of our problem. Now moving down to the brackets, write an expression in brackets to represent the total cost of the bracelets. Okay. So again, nothing changes in those red parentheses. So I have my four green and my one gold, but then in blue, it wants the cost. So now we're looking for money. So the, I'm going to read from the top again. So Mr. Finn makes gift boxes with four green bracelets and one gold bracelet and one necklace. Each bracelet costs $2. So now I have my four plus my one. If I'm finding the cost, I need to take that total and I need to multiply it by two because each bracelet is $2. Okay. So now C moving down to braces, which is in green, write an expression in braces to represent the total cost of the bracelets and the necklace in one gift box. Okay. So I'm going to copy what I have down here so far. So I have my two dollars for my four and my one bracelet. Now it's looking for green for the necklace. So remember there was only one necklace. Oops, I'm going to redo that and circle a little bit better. There was just one necklace and that necklace costs five dollars. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show that since I'm talking about cost and there's only one of them, I'm going to show it as five in my problem. Okay, so now moving down to D, write and evaluate an expression to show how many gift boxes Mr. Finn can make with the $90, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring down all my work and then add the next step. So remember, I had my two here, my four and my one, and then my five. So remember that two was the $2 for the four green bracelets, the one gold bracelet, and the five is the amount for that one necklace. Now, if I figured out that total cost for everything, how many boxes can I make if he had his, and I'm going to do this in yellow, $90 to spend. Okay. So I'm going to take that all. I'm going to find the total, and then I'm going to take the 90 and I'm going to divide it. Okay, so now we are going to go ahead and evaluate this problem that we wrote. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to solve the problem with the color that I did. 
So my four plus my one is going to be equal to five. All right. So I solved my five in, in parentheses. Now what I'm going to do is bring down the next step, was, which was the brackets. So I'm going to take my five and my two. I know that my two times my five is going to be 10. All right, now I'm going to move out to my braces in green, which is plus 5. And I know that my 10 plus my 5 is equal to 15. Okay, so everything inside of my braces is equal to that 15. Now in that yellow, off to the side, now I'm going to do my 90 divided by my 15. Okay, so my 90 divided by my 15, I know if I skip count by 15, I have 15, 30, 45, 60, 75, 90. So that would be equal to six. So knowing going back up to the problem, how many boxes can I make from my $90? I can make six boxes. All right, so that is just an example of how to work with the different type of parentheses, brackets, and braces inside of step one of the order of operations. All right, that is it for this lesson. Um, go ahead and finish up the rest of the problems, and I will see you for module five.